You can start this section after you finish the in-class exercise 3, question 1 and A. For the question, it asks you to compute the correlation coefficient. The formula for correlation coefficient is the covariance between x and y divided by standard deviation of x multiplies the deviation of y. Using this table, you can compute um, the deviation scores for x. Then you square the deviation scores of each x. You will have the column um, x minus x bar square. You will have 1, 4, 4, 0, 1. You add the column together, sum of the square of x is 10. Then you divide sum of the squares by n minus 1. You will have the variance of x, which is 10 divided by 4. You will have 2.5. Then you take the square root of the variance. You will have 1.58. That is the standard deviation of x. 1.58. You do the same thing for y. y minus y bar square. You will have 36, 81, 9, 0, 0. Add them together. SSY is 126. SY square is 126 divided by 5 minus 1. You will have 31.5. That is sum of the square for y. Uh, no, that's the variance of y. Then you divide the variance, you take the square root of the variance, that is square root of 31.5, you will have 5.61. Um, plug the numbers into the formula, the correlation between x and y is 0.85. B equals to R multiply the ratio of SD of Y and SD of X. It is 0.85 multiply 5.61 divided by 1.58. You will have 3.0. That should be the same figure you have for um, the previous class exercise. Now we know there is a inner collection between regression coefficient and the correlation coefficient. If standard deviation of y, uh, y equals to standard deviation of x, then b will equal to r. Under what condition s y will equal to s x? Can we do some transformation to make two distributions have the same standard deviation? Can we transfer a distribution x into a standardized distribution and also transfer the, the, the distribution of y into a standardized distribution? Yes, we could. When we transfer y and x into z distributions, then for zx distribution, the mean of this z distribution is 0, and the standard deviation of the z distribution is 1. When we transfer y into z distribution, the zy distribution mean is 0, sd is 1. Therefore, for these two z distributions, the mean for zx equals to the mean of zy, which is 0. The solution of both z distributions is 1. If we transform x and y distributions into z distributions, the unstandardized regression coefficient b will be called a standardized regression coefficient beta. And the beta equals to r multiply the ratio of the zy 
standard deviation and the zx standard deviation, which are both 1. So when we have the standardized distribution of x and the standardized distribution of y, the standardized regression coefficient equals to the correlation coefficient between x and the y. Then the regression formula based on the standardized x and y distributions are z y hat equals to beta z x plus a. What is the intercept? What is the a here? Remember, a equals to y bar minus b x bar. Plug in our new numbers, z y bar is 0. Then z x bar is also 0. Therefore, intercept is 0. So when you have standardized distribution of x and y, the intercept is 0. Therefore, the regression formula for standardized distributions is z y hat equals to beta z x. There's no intercept anymore because intercept is 0. Now we know beta is the standardized regression coefficient. To make things simpler, we can write the equation as y hat equals to beta x. When you see beta, you know there is no intercept. And the x refers to zx. y hat refers to predicted zy. Now let's continue on our in-class exercise. Working on Q3, explain what is beta, define beta and compute beta for this question. Then you can work on Q3a. What is the standardized regression equation? Write the standardized regression equation for this question.